Hello, business person. According to my calculations, 1.7 billion people are on Facebook every day. And with the Facebook business page, you can find more customers, build relationships with them, and increase your online sales. Even if you don't use Facebook, you can still use a Facebook business page to grow your business. Because you need one for your Instagram business account. So step one, we want to create the page. Uh, log on to Facebook using your personal profile. Um, click the menu icon in the top right and then go down the create sidebar to select page. Click that and voila, we are in what I like to call creation mode. You'll want to add three things, your business name, your business category or type, spa, restaurant, medical spa and then you can write a very brief introduction that kind of gives people the basics of what they can expect from your business on Facebook. Next, step two, uh, upload your profile image uh, which should be about 170 pixels by 170 pixels. Um, if you have a logo you can use that. If you're a personal brand and you have a face use that. The image is going to help you your audience recognize you and your content around Facebook, so you're not going to want to switch it up very often. Next, we're going to upload our cover image, which is the most prominent visual uh, on our Facebook page, and the optimal size here is 851 pixels by 315. Unlike the profile image, you can change this one up pretty frequently, um, and it's actually best practice too. If you have a new offering or a big campaign, you want to change it in order to draw attention to that. Uh, we've actually included a link below to five free Facebook cover photo templates to help you get started with yours. Step three, create your username, which is also your vanity URL. Just click create username here, and you want to type in one that is as short and easy to remember and easy to type as possible. If it's available, Facebook will give you a little green check mark. You can click create. If it then tells you that you're not eligible to create a username at this time, you might want to come back and try again in a few weeks once you have a few likes and your page is up and running. Step four, we're going to fill out the Facebook pages about section. And you don't want to skip this step because this is where you're putting in all of the details that are most important to your potential customers. And also this information is likely to be indexed by search engines like Google so that your business can pop up when people are searching for cafes near me. So you want to scroll down on the left hand side to edit page info and in here you want to add your address, your website, your contact information, your hours of operation, or any other details that are relevant to your business and to your customers. Next, we are going to add a call to action button at the top of the page. This is definitely a best practice because it encourages people to take the next step with your business. Um, so Facebook has a ton of different options. If you click add a button right here, you can choose from the list. Um, because I run a spa, I'm going to choose book now so that people can reserve their time in my flotation pods. Then I can either select Facebook's appointment system or connect it with my in-house software tool. Um, but you choose what's best for your business. And if you don't know yet, which way you want to point people, I would just select the follow button so that you can start growing your Facebook audience now. Now it is time to create our first post. To start building relationships with new and existing customers, you want to offer content that's valuable to them, whether that's entertaining or informative. Um, but basically we want to convince people that they want to stick around because we're going to be a fun and worthy addition to their lives. If you don't have a social media strategy yet, I really do recommend that you watch my boss Amanda's incredible, effective nine minute social media strategy masterclass. It's gonna be up here. For now, I'm going to intrigue my audience with some fascinating information about sensory deprivation's history and 
health benefits. Now it is time for step seven, where we invite people to follow our Facebook page. This is where it all begins. First of all, we're going to start with our personal pre-existing Facebook friends, people who we know are going to want to be supportive or are interested in the topic. So click the ellipsis button on the top of your page and then click invite friends and then, you know, start adding people who you want to be added. I don't seem to have any, but I'm sure you do. Uh, next, there are so many steps you can take. You can post to your personal Facebook profile, letting everyone know. You can post to your other social media accounts. Uh, you can add Facebook follow buttons to your website, your email signature, any other marketing materials you have. If you have a newsletter list, send out an email. Just remember that the best way to earn followers is to post great content regularly. Eventually, Things like running ads or hosting a Facebook contest or joining a Facebook group as your page and promoting your page there and other groups. We have a video on that right here. These are all effective ways to grow your follower count. Step eight is not a step. It is a list of four super cool hacks. Um, just tweaks to make sure that your page is as relevant and useful as possible for the people who are looking at it, who are your customers or potential customers. So number one, we want to make sure that we have a relevant page template, which means that we are going to use one of Facebook's preset layouts based on our business type so that the information is organized in as relevant a way as possible. So to do this, you want to go to settings and then templates and tabs, and then just choose from the list, whichever template is the best for your business. Tip two, you want to rearrange your tabs so that you're only keeping necessary or useful tabs there. So again, you go to settings and template and tabs, and then you can toggle on or off the tabs you want and rearrange them so that the most important ones are at the beginning. Tip number three, you want to add a pinned post. A pinned post is the first experience most people will have with your page. So you want to put something relevant or timely or useful here. If you're running a promotion or you have big news or you just want to showcase your funniest post, um, those are all great options. And now it is time for my personal favorite step, which is setting up a chat bot to greet or converse with people who message your page on Facebook Messenger. This sounds like it's from the future, but it's not. And increasingly having a chatbot is just table stakes in online commerce. Um, and it's also one of the easiest ways to provide really stellar customer service if you don't have a team dedicated to handling that. So, Watch this. In settings, you can click messaging and then you can go down to starting a messenger conversation. You wanna to toggle that to on, leave um, a personal greeting there for people who have yet to message your page. And then you wanna go further down and start to play around in the options there. If you toggle on uh, set up automated conversations, it will bring you to a bunch of suggested presets for people who are trying to be in touch with your business on Facebook. So you can set an away message if you're not responding right now. You can set an instant reply that's kind of like a, hi, we'll get to your message as soon as we can. Um, you can set up some frequently asked questions uh, or auto respond with contact information, location, hours. You can create your own with custom keywords. There are just so many things you can do with this and it's one of the best things you can do to save yourself time. I do highly recommend that if you set these up, you get a good friend or loved one to test them out with you because we have all been a little embarrassed sometimes by the way our chatbots malfunction. Haha, <laughs> just kidding. But seriously, not all chatbots are created equal. And if you have more questions about conversational AI or social commerce, we highly recommend that you check out Heyday. Um, we'll put a link in the description below. That's it. If you've gotten this far, please like, 
please subscribe and let us know if you want to hear more in the future about chatbots, Facebook, social commerce, social customer care. What do you guys want to hear about from us? We're here for you. Okay. Goodbye.